Yo, what's up? So the hero on box is back. Uh, if you watch Daddy Free to Play's video, they actually reduce the amount of rewards that we get. Uh, I've already said this. This like is like more like my second game now. So you know, if they want to do shit like this, I don't really care anymore. Uh, but this event, as per feud, this is a really good event that you can craft two relics. Uh, using this uh, radixes and you can buy a maximum of 50 per day I don't recommend you to go too much on this one I I think for me I would spend a maximum of 2000 excess crystal and I won't go above and um, the way that you want to use it in my opinion the best way is to go um, either hammer of Thor um, crit damage for the circle piece the only worth it one in my opinion is the circle piece uh, for crit damage any other else uh, any other um, piece is not worth it because it's easier to get um, the main stats it's easier to get like attack main stats uh, but crit damage main stats uh, you know wink wink there's a bit of a <coughs> Uh, a data mine going on going around I'm not gonna say who though but he does a like, good work uh, he's basically showed that it's lower chances for you to get crit damage main stat so yeah you should the best way is to use it on crit damage main set now which set do you want to use it on it's uh, up to you in my opinion it's going to be hammer of Thor if you have a good set of hammer of Thor for other pieces Windwalker is also a good idea Kronos is actually stupid hard to farm now if you're early game um, this in my opinion is not really that worth it Snow Dowager there's a, a, only a few characters that use it uh, War Machine is okay I think but I think hammer of Thor would be, be better um, and then Astro Witchcraft is again quite niche. The only units that use Astro Witchcraft that is a damage dealer um, is JJ, which is a sh Shimmer 5 star, and um, Tever, also a Shimmer 5 star. The rest of the damage dealer don't really use the set much. Zeus, as well, it's only a multi, multi hitters. So, in my, my opinion, it, it goes down to Hammer of Thor. Uh, Windwalker and War Machine and it's not a good idea to chase speed runes so if you're uh, going with a uh, Windwalker and then you're going uh, any other piece and you're trying to find speed substats to you know maybe get like a quad or penta roll on speed that is a terrible idea never go for speed with this uh, customization of relics it is a waste and you're gonna waste your chance on making the perfect relics okay so let's go I'm gonna make um, I think I'm gonna make hammer of Thor I don't have a good hammer of Thor um, or actually yeah yeah I'm gonna go hammer of Thor crit damage click on next click the circle piece in my opinion the rest is not uh, not worth it at all Maybe the the square one if you're gonna go for like a tech percentage, but nah, tech percentage is easier to get. So go with the circle piece, and then go crit damage. The rest is not worth it. Crit damage has lower chance, and yeah, you keep rerolling. In my opinion, you reroll until you get three uh, offensive offensive stats. Uh, so attack percent. If you're gonna make this one Gaius runes, uh, Gaius is a relic, then you go attack percent, uh, speed, and crit damage, and then the other one doesn't really matter. If you get crit rate, that's a bonus, so you can interchange with uh, other of your aspers. Um, so yeah, you can also get this relic is from uh, the missions, feud glory, right here. Oh no, I lied. Uh, Oh yeah, sign in also gives you some 100 
300 so sign in gives you 300 and then as per celebration also gives you some yeah so 50 here so 300 450 total from this one and then i think this one also gives you some you get you get a pretty good si uh, sizable amount of uh esporadic uh those uh, radixes stuff so yeah i think that's about it there's some good rewards here as well oh there's um one two two hundred over here that's a nice uh name card and then some uh some stuff so yeah let's go over it again you can craft two relics uh in my opinion crit damage main is the the only way to go don't go for like a slot six speed rune with uh speed substats and then hoping it it goes uh, everything into speed now that's not the way to go the chance is way too low you want crit damage main stat with at least three really good substats uh that way you can't get screwed you know you don't use you don't waste too many of your uh, reset stones because if you're going for like speed runes you're gonna waste a lot of your reset stones so yeah crit damage main stat at least three uh offensive uh substats without the uh flat, flat stats so yeah that's it ciao wow look at this i'm already done i'm gonna keep this one probably this is a really good rune for Gaius, so yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> the first rune done, and I have uh, some spare. Let's get it.